And that is on Mars. Mars. No, it isn't. It's... <laughs> My services to NASA, I can tell them exactly what they're seeing on Mars. Rocks were alive. It's alive! You're gonna have to start without me. I actually can't think of a single thing to say about that. Please subscribe. We have been studying the basalt columns and the formations for years now. That idea I actually know a little bit about this. It's volcanic lava that has cooled and contracted into these really long columns. How does mainstream science talk about these formations? Well, it's like I just said, when lava cools and contracts, the ground cracks and it forms these long geometric shaped columns. They almost look man-made, but it's a naturally occurring phenomenon. None. Phenomena. Don't. And how are they justifying this kind of type? They, they can't. So they're making up all these crazy things. And there's nothing worse than people making up crazy things to explain the way things they actually don't fully understand. Rocks were alive. Hmm. That's biology. And that right there is a tendon. These are tendons, and that is the glue that glues the tendon to muscles, which was above. Now, if you've never come across my channel before, you will probably be sat there now saying, what? the hell if you've been here before you're probably just saying eh, good old rog but in either case it does beg the question how many bumps on the head has roger had that's what that was it was a giant creature let me show you and that is on mars mars no it isn't it's <laughs> It's Fingal's Cave, and it's on an uninhabited island called Staffa, which is in the Inner Hebrides off Scotland. You see this? This is a, a, an artery. But hang on a second now, Roger. No change in the subject. I've got to say, I'm really disappointed in you. In the way that a dad tells his children that he's disappointed with them because he knows that'll have the most effect. Now, I've always known that you were completely insane, but a liar? And it brings the red blood down and it passes through all these little tiny blood vessels and then that absorbs the oxygen into the it goes in what's called feo3 fe2o3 which is iron oxide with three oxygens then it comes out with iron oxide fe2o2 which means it only has two oxygens we're going to get into chemistry you're going to have to learn all of this stuff well, I think it's maybe you that needs to learn a little bit more about chemistry, Roger, especially when you say what you say with such conviction. The Fe in Fe203 stands for ferric oxide, which is toxic to human beings. So I really hope you're not trying to imply that we've got ferric oxide coursing through our arteries. Rocks were alive. You see this right here? That's that. That's exactly that. Again, I will show you this in geology but it's really bi biology the same as this goose <laughs> shut up Dell. i don't know what you were laughing at you think the earth is flat look it does look like a goose you can't disagree with that but it's just another example of roger being the king of pareidolia and all pareidolia is is the tendency to see shapes in things he's just seeing things that aren't there pareidolia was once thought of as a symptom of psychosis and based on how frequently Roger is seeing things that aren't there, I think that may need to be looked at again. What I'm going to show you, I can stand behind 100%. And if I can have somebody stand up to this evidence to scrutinize it, then we can get somewhere. But I am told I am not allowed in this region because this came out of space. This is a meteorite. And this is blood that exploded from that fingertip, which was a gigantic fingertip from a giant. Roger, listen, I've got to be completely honest. I'm at a loss for why you're not allowed to enter the scientific community, specifically NASA's scientific community. I, I can't even fathom any reason, especially if you factor in that every village needs an idiot. You'd fit right in. I'm not making this stuff up. All right, now this is going to freak you out. Watch. Uh, this is the lung I have right here. I know, I know. It just looks like a black rock. But if Roger from Mud Fossil University says it's a lung, and the 121,000 people who follow his channel think it's a lung, then it must be a lung, right? Because that's how it works. No? Now, these are literally blood cells. And that is the 
tissue that has been burnt off and now this thing is magnetic. But this is blood. These are little blood cells all over the place. And the redder the blood is, the deeper oxygenated it is. Is retirement really this boring? You're pointing at a rock. It's not alive now. So it can't have red blood cells, well oxygenated blood cells, because that's about the only thing you've said right in the entire video. It's a rock. It's an inanimate object. And again, that's a lung. Now, whenever you see these little white things, these are collagens and carrageens, and that's what gives you the, the lung the ability to do this. Now, I'm not sure what this is, and I'm no doctor, but I always thought it was your diaphragm and your chest muscles that give you the ability to breathe. Your lungs are basically just two spongy sacks. And talking about carrageens, C-A-R-I-J-E-N-S, definitely don't Google that. Just don't. Is the, um, my fingertip. And I will show you the different fibers in this compared to the terrestrial fingertip that I have here, which is, is virtually the same fingertip, but it didn't burn off through space. But we'll still see the same fibers in here. So we're gonna take a look at that right now. Yeah, fingertip, Roger. <laughs> she must have been a little upset today. Tried to uh, tell um, NASA about their space debris. And uh, as you can see this, and you can see what you're looking at there. That's Comet 67P. I've been following that for years. And that is the same as this. This is a tendon anthesis. That is a tendon anthesis. That had a stalk coming out, it's broken off. This had one out, it is broken off. Can somebody please explain to me why it is that Roger seems to completely disregard anything that's real or anything that has actual evidence for it being a thing? And I know that's not a very scientific way of describing it, but I'm not a scientist. And yet he thinks that pointing from one rock to another rock, one in his hand, one on the screen, one in his hand, one on the screen, makes them the same. They're not even similar. Apart from the fact that they're both just rocks. This is the red blood side, and that is red blood, and I looked at it in a microscope, and it is blood, and this is a biological creature. It's obviously blood. Duh, yeah, obviously, and I wasn't aware that blood operated on a side-by-side -side basis, but I think that's nitpicking at this stage. Roger, how many people, how many other scientific minds have peer-reviewed your research and come to the same conclusions as you? Now, I don't mean other YouTubers who all also believe the ridiculousness -ness that is mud fossils. I mean actual scientists that agree with you. Where are they? Why don't you ever cite them as backing up your research? That is coming through space and I tried to get a hold of NASA and I asked them to look at it. So I posted on their website and, and they shadow blocked me and I show you why I can make that statement. Now, at this point in the video, I think it's very important that we understand exactly what's going on with Roger and why he's so upset. It seems pretty clear to me he's tried to tell the good folks over at NASA that this meteorite is a rock which used to be alive and Roger can prove it. And they blocked him from posting on their website ever again. Hmm. All right, so here's your comet, and here's your ball, which is that tendon emphasis, and there's the stalk, and all of these little ball, these little jets coming out of here, going every different direction. Why are they going every different direction? Because they're being boiled off of the tube that is the blood vessel, and they shoot out from the blood vessel, boiled, and if it was a gas grill, and you had enough oxygen, this would be burning. Ah, right, so it's boiling blood. And there's me thinking it was the emission of radiation from the ionized gas and from the white hot evaporating particles. Silly me. And everybody who isn't Roger, of course. <laughs> Silly them as well. All right, this would be c combusting. Right now it's combusting, but there's not enough oxygen to actually 
create flames. Well, there is no oxygen, is there? Or very little oxygen anyway, because it's in space. I'm gonna close the case on this, and if NASA, and if NASA will not address this, nobody addresses reality anymore. It's, everybody's just got their own mindset. I don't care about anything. I'm just gonna go about my own way. Yeah, and I know it's a real problem, Roger, but that's probably because most people like to get things verified or they like to see some actual evidence for something being real because thankfully most people are smart enough to realize that an old man prodding his computer screen with a feather does not count as unequivocal evidence all right so here i was i put this up on their this is nasa's site and it's about asteroid venue and they're showing a crater in there which is i understand what the crater is so i put my statements up here look at this stuff look at this stuff yeah okay guys we're gonna look have a nice day and they got 39 comments well i'm up there look i'm fine well i know i'm not fine and i am not up there i i pay taxes this is a federally funded program. I should have a voice. But you do have a voice, Roger. You've got a YouTube channel with 121,000 subscribers. So there's your voice. And just a little tip from one YouTuber to another. The reason your comments are disappearing is because you keep including links in them. And any comment that has a link in it automatically gets sent to the spam folder. And I seriously doubt NASA is wasting any of its employees' time sorting through the spam folder on their YouTube channel. I'm speaking truth. Their stuff is wrong. Well, Roger, if you think NASA are wrong and every scientist ever, but you are right, then there's one really easy solution. Prove it. And I don't mean by poking your screen with your feather. I mean by providing some actual evidence that can then be peer reviewed and have, hopefully, other scientists come to the same conclusions as you. Once you do that, I'm sure people will take you a lot more seriously. If you don't see it, you don't see it. But if you don't see it, I think you're fooling yourself. And if you will not allow yourself to see something, then you, 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 uh, you got issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, issues. Anyway, did you know I had a Discord server where I hang about most days because I basically have no life with members of my audience and we chat and we talk about video ideas and there's places for you to share ideas you may want me to cover in, in videos I'm waffling and none of this is making any sense but I guess what I'm trying to say is join my discord server it's awesome you can talk to me whenever you fancy unless of course I choose to ignore you <laughs> then you won't be able to but still do it thank you for watching love you bye all right, all right, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the creaky blinder.